Hey everybody, welcome to the round eight tipping video. Hmm, a third of the way in the season coming up. It's been a fascinating one. I tipped seven last week. Not a bad week, not a great week, not satisfied, but definitely never want to be tipping below seven in any given round because you just give yourself um, too much of a margin to make up. And we also have a brand new leader of the BA tipping competition 2022. And that is Captain Carlton underscore, who tipped seven as well last week, taking their total score to 47. So well done to you, Captain Carlton. I don't know who you are, so please reach out, let me know, so I can put a, a face or a profile to the profile, and uh, we can celebrate your top spot. I'm not giving up on Corey Leonard, not going to lie. I've seen he's sitting there in seventh spot. You can't see it right now. I'm only showing the top five, but Corey Leonard, there's something about Corey Leonard. I don't know what it is. I just like seeing his name there. He's been in the top 10 all season long, and there's something about consistency that I'm a fan of. So why don't you, Corey? But as it stands right now, Captain Carlton is the person to beat. Now, this week, interesting, COVID has definitely come through this week and the health and safety protocols have definitely come through and it's impacted a few teams and it's just shocking. I guess we'll get to it shortly, but without further ado, let's just do just that, get right into it. Now, Friday doubleheader. I don't know about you guys, I enjoy a Friday doubleheader. I like it. I think it's good. I think it gives Friday a different avenue to watch a little bit more. You know, if, if one game's no good, you can always watch the second game. Um, I'm not a fan of the overlap too much. I would like one to start a little earlier, but I totally get why it happens. You really can't be starting too many games as early as that, you know, that Good Friday game a few weeks ago because that was a public holiday. So I do get it. But nonetheless, the first game is at 7.30 at uh, Adelaide Oval. It's Port Adelaide and the Western Bulldogs. The Dogs have lost the Bont. Um, he's being managed. Port, you know I've got a soft spot. I tipped them last week against the Saints. A lot of you came for me for that, but I'm going to tip them again. I think Port Adelaide are going to start to find their groove, especially at home. I think they're going to start to find that spark. Alir Alir hasn't really had a Alir Alir type game just yet. I think now that he's had a, a month in the, in the side or a month-ish in the side, I think he's going to be having his game shortly. And I just don't know what's going on with the dogs. There's just something not right. I caught it in round one when I when we when, when we Carlton played the dogs in round two. So I don't know. I'm tipping Port Adelaide because I'm biased towards them and I love them and I think they're I think they're back. So Port Adelaide in a good game. The next game is at 8.40 p.m. That's for us in, in Victoria. It's Fremantle and North Melbourne. Freo have been ravaged with the health and safety protocols. Blake Akers, Griffin Logue, Lloyd Meek, Michael Frederick, Rory Lobb, and Travis Collier all are out. And in comes Darcy Henry, Jaya Miss for his first game, Heath Chapman and Hayden Young. And as I'm reading that out, as I saw it, I realized, wow, Frio have, they've got depth. You know, they've got depth. They've got six players out of their side and they're replacing them with guys who are pretty good. Now, Jaya Miss first game, but a lot of raps on him. Um, they're in a good spot. North Melbourne, Jed Anderson, Ben Mackay, Aiden Call come back, Aiden Bonner, Jack Marnie, and Miller Bergman, uh, and Nick, Nick Larkey, the big tough guy, Nick Larkey. How tough is he? He's out as well. Um, I'm tipping Frio. I just think they're a better side than North. Um, North lose their toughest guy, and you know I think it's going to be a struggle for them to, to kick a score when they don't have the, the toughest man in, in, in football playing. So Fremantle... For me, they're flying and good on them. It's it's good to see some new blood come through and, and push for that top four. So full respect to Frio. Then we go to Saturday, 1.45 at the MCG. It's Richmond and Collingwood. Dusty's back. Cochin's back. I think the Tigers will win this. I must say, Collingwood have been... I mean, I'm a Carlton supporter, so obviously there's the rivalry. I... Love watching Collingwood play. I'm not kidding. They're, they're, they're enticing. You know, they're young, they're fresh. They've got a good mixture of their stars who are a little bit more mature and these young kids coming through. Jack Ginevan, you know what? Respect. Anyone who's willing to be themselves for me and, and, and be themselves unapologetically is, uh, is, a, is, is 
they've got my respect. I'm a fan of him. Obviously, went out drinking after Anzac Day and they're all a little bit pissed off. But you know what? If you're playing good footy, you can do what you want. That's the rule. That's what Dane Swan did. So I like what Ginevan brings to the game. I think it's good for the game. And at the start, when he dyed his hair, I was thinking, oh, I don't know about this. You know, where's his mind at? But listen, fair play to the lad and fair play to Collingwood. But I think Richmond will win this game. Then, well, at the same time, and this is what I don't like when the game start at the exact same time, but it is what it is. The Swans play the Suns at the SCG. I don't think this is the game where the Suns give the big upset. Rory Thompson's back in um, after his significant injury issues. Nah, I can't. I can't tip the Suns. I don't have the guts to do it. And the Swans are playing at the SCG. And they're just one of those teams where until they give you a reason not to tip them, you keep tipping them. So I will tip the Swans. I think they'll um, I think they'll play well. 4.35 at Manuka Oval, the Giants and the Cats. I'm going to tip the Giants because I get sucked in. I do. I get sucked into the Giants all the time, even though my head tells me that you should be tipping Geelong this week. But... I don't know. I see all these guys on paper. They're just beautiful names, great footballers. I know that the Giants don't play as a collective and they're just a bunch of individuals, but I just think they'll win. I don't know. I can't I can't shake the the lure of, of tipping them. So it's the Giants for me in a thriller. I think it'll be a great game. Then at 7.25 p.m. at Marvel Stadium, it's the Bombers and the Hawks. Essendon are winning at some point. It's coming. I really did think it was going to be Anzac Day, but it wasn't to be. I'm tipping Hawthorne. I'm going to tip Hawthorne. From my experience, Hawthorne is just a great team on the counter. And if you turn the ball over and don't use it well, they'll punish you. And I think Essendon are one of those teams that is susceptible to poor ball use just from the eye test. I don't know, I don't know if the stats back it up. And I just think Hawthorne are just so well coached, so well drilled, and they've earned my respect this season already. So I'll tip the Hawks. Then we move to Sunday, the 8th of May. It's the D's and the Saints at 1.10 p.m. I said last week that I'd be tipping the Saints this week, and I will be tipping the Saints. Why? I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I just can't explain it. It just feels right. If And look, I've said all season... Until the D's give me a reason to tip against them, I'm going to tip them, especially at the MCG. I don't know. I just get a sense that the Saints will do it and they will break the winning streak. Not that the D's... I mean, the D's haven't been playing to their best. They've kind of just been... I feel like they've been playing in in second gear, maybe third gear at times, and they have little patches where they just put a game away. And they may very well do the same thing here, but I think the Saints are going very well and they're a team that... When they are going very well, they don't seem to get the respect of the competition. It is what it is. It happens when you're a St. Kilda and you're not a Collingwood or a Carlton or or one of these teams. It just, I can't explain it. Um, But nonetheless, full respect to the Saints. Though, you know, I do love what they've got going on. And I'm going to go against everything I've said all season and I'm going to tip the Saints. So I think it'll be match of the round. And then... The graveyard shift, absolute graveyard shift. It's the blue baggers and the Adelaide Crows. I'm tipping the baggers. Of course, I'm tipping the blues. Um, it's an opportunity to go six and two, which is unreal for me and for all Carlton people. Um, and it also will trigger a lot of non Carlton people. I can smell how annoyed everyone is that Carlton are starting to win games. I can smell it. And so I don't think this will be. A blowout. I think the Crows are going to bounce back. They're a proud footy club. They've got a proud um, coach who won't be coaching, but they've got a, a fill in. And I think there's a stat. I think there's a stat where this season all the fill in coaches have won. So Scotty Burns will be coaching the Crows. We all know what happens when uh, Scotty Burns and Michael Voss are competing against each other. The great footage that is um, the grand final bump, but. No, full respect to the Crows. I've said it all year. I think they'll be a, you know, they're just a, they're a solid team. The interesting one for me is Matt Crouch is omitted. And he's a guy that literally gets 30-35 in his sleep against Carlton. So they're obviously making a statement there. Brody Smith is a, is, I think he's a big out for the Crows. He's a really good player. And Ned McHenry's injured. Um, for the Blues, Stocker's out at this stage. 
I'm filming this on, on Thursday evening, so the extended benches are in. I would guess that Zach Williams will come in for Stocker and I don't know who the next one will be, but that doesn't matter. The Baggers will be winning this game and we're going to be 6-2 and two, and I'm just excited to enjoy being 6-2. and two. I hope it's going to happen. I'm pretty confident it will, but we'll see. What about you? What are you tipping this week? Put them in the comments below and what are some of the themes and issues of this week that you want to bring up and uh, maybe there's something I haven't mentioned in any of these games that I'm missing. Uh, please give me some of that. Give us some of that feedback and uh, I'll see you next week. Go the Mighty Blues. Hey!